All right, welcome to the final video of Minish Cap. This is all just wrapping up everything else I have left to collect, including some stuff that gets unlocked once you beat Vadi. The save does start before the boss fight, but you do get a little Triforce on your save to signify that you are in the post game. You thought we were done with Ezla. You thought wrong! The hat you gave me includes his mind. <laughs> thought you lost me, did you? So if you want to wake up Big Goron, and you can only do this in the post game, you have to go back to this cave and Kinstone fuse with this one Goron. Not too. Good. <laughs> Oh god, those hands. Yeah. This is a little weird, this animation. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got the face shakes there, buddy. Oh, I'm so weak. Did you feel that too? Well, oh, that's nice. But here he is. I like this detail, you can walk under his fingers. Oh, that is, that's the best thing. I love walking under the hands. Just do it all day. He must be whispering very, very quietly. So the reason to even wake him up is that he's the only guy who will upgrade our shield. How he does it is a little weird. We feed it to him. Yummy, yummy. Why you can upgrade your shield in the post game, I don't know, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, long after it's useful. It's an Easter egg, I guess. And I did go back to fight body with the upgraded shield, and no, it does not help. Yeah, it does nothing. It literally is just an easter egg, that's all it is. It's a callback. And there have been a couple of things like this, but we have to wait like an hour of real time. Which is annoying. You can't get it back right away. So what I will do is go back to Karlov and get the new post-game statues. Figurines. Figurines. There's not many, there's just six of them. Well, pull that lever. Yeah, <laughs> one is four percent. Nice. Yeah. Aw. We are friends. Best friends. Unreliable Gunkle. Yeah. It's still the best when his name shows up in the middle of a sentence, because it feels like we're just talking about a blob on the ground. Right. Throw that one away. Oh, no. The strongest dark nut. Reborn. Ew. None of them are as great as Majora Reincarnate or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. That second form. One that dances all around like a weirdo. And also not as good as Majora's Wrath, frankly. Oh, yeah. Can we just say now that Majora's a better boss than Vani? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You heard it here first, folks. 20 years later. <laughs> yeah. When did, when did Majora's Wrath come out? I can't remember. 2000. Yeah, okay. Almost 20 years later. Oh, we got the medal. Here's my face in gold. Yeah, now we get the Karlov Metal. But that actually replaces the seashells in our inventory. So we conclusively have all of the figurines. What an accomplishment. Showing this. Yeah, I'm showing this. But at this point, once the final dungeon is open, everyone is stuck indoors and everyone's afraid of monsters. There's guards walking around saying, go back in the house. You have weapons that are, I don't know, a hundred times stronger than theirs, and they're telling you to go inside. Have you seen my sword? And also, like I mentioned, now I'm going back into the sewer. 
Finally. I gotta find a third entrance, though. Because you need to pull that statue all the way out. Mm -hmm. And the third entrance has been right in front of me the whole time. It's the back of the well. Yeah, not real intuitive. You just kind of stumble upon it. There, get that out of the way. Burst a blood vein. Yeah. That's a neat touch. Oh, yeah. As you can see, I bought a shit ton of milk, just in case I wanted to fight Vadi again. You never know. Yeah, I get the bat. Two and one. Or get the keys. Actual bats are nice. Or at least I like them. There's nothing wrong with bats. It's people that's the problem, man. Oh, okay. Pato shot me out. But there was a secret entrance there the whole time. Oh, I'm a little drunk after that shield there, little buddy. What was in that? How much polish you put on it, man. The legendary taste. Let me just uh, spit it right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it's all wet. That's less of a spin, more of a gleek. Alright, so we got the mirror shield. It reflects enemy attacks. Nothing. No. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's really weird to get this so close to the end of the game. It's, we're long past the point of it being useful. Right. We already beat the game without it. And he falls down the mountain. <laughs> He's dreaming about it already. <laughs> so there's another thing I briefly mentioned, but I didn't know about until the end of the game. The Pico Blooms. They've been waiting to bloom a long time. Man, these things are taking a long time. But there is still two more. So before he needed milk, now he needs some Mount Cornell mineral water. I mentioned this a long time ago, I was talking about needing certain liquids for something later. Going ahead and drinking a bottle of milk because another liquid you're gonna need for the Pico Blooms is a red potion. So now I got both of them, let's go ahead and get the last of the Pico Blooms. Why not? I just realized, even that minish size, the minish are much shorter than you. <laughs> They're even smaller than small. And you do need to wait a good long while. But once the Pico Blossom blooms, we can then go to Beetle and buy the Pico Light. I'm not gonna use any of them, because I don't need to. Nah. <laughs> you finally came to visit! You live here, you little shit. But we are going to be getting the last of the Kinstone Fusions. Gotta make this 100% LP. Ignoring that one chest that I can't get anymore. Yeah. Wanna go check it out? <laughs> yeah, thanks for rubbing it in my face. Don't forget that gust jar! Great. Now we got the blue Pico Bloom. I am curious how these get to Beetle. Yeah. Is he. Like, nobody's supposed to know about the Minish except for kids, right? Or, like, how does. Does he have a kid mule that brings them to him? <laughs> well, if anyone in Zelda has a child at heart, it's Beetle. Or these guys. 
So yeah, these guys helped me keep track of how many kinstone fusions I had left. Before I had recorded this, I was actually gonna go ahead and just leave it there. But then they told me how many I had left, and I thought, shit, I have to do 100% LP. <laughs> but I think I mentioned, don't forget the business scrubs. You do need to fuse with them as well. Very good for business. You scrub. I get out of here. Yeah, I'll sell you arrows. Don't you want arrows? I've got 99 arrows. Get out of here. In here, it's another business scrub. Let's just put that mirror shield to use. That is pretty cool. Interesting little effect on it. <sighs> yeah, why not? It's not even a red one. But he has two Kenstone fusions. He's so happy to do it, too. Alright, I'm gonna kill that off-screen. Yeah, there's... <laughs> if you remember, you kill them and you get money. It's part of the business scrub's plan the whole time. He wants you to get money so you'll come back and buy bombs from him. Did he put money in the Golden Octrock? No, he put a coupon in there. <laughs> there we go. Now we're done with the scrubs forever. Yay. I wonder what's in here. Oh, what a shock. This is around the point where I start remembering all the Minish that I met once, but they didn't have a fusion. It's because you have to go back to them now to get the rest of them. Right. At least I had to go back to them now. Man, we're gonna get so many secret seashells. Actually, oh, that's a good point. Once you've gotten the Carlot Metal, all the seashells disappear from the game and you just get rupees. Uh, uh. What's that you say? Try to try to swing my back up. Swing my back up. Where's the heart pounding grave digging experience game? His heart just doesn't pound that hard anymore. <laughs> Don't pound like she used to. It's more of a... Actually, it's more of a gunkle, if you will. <laughs> Items isn't like arrows and bombs, I think. Yeah, it's pickups. And they're gold now. Or orange. Cyber Peak of Loom. How do they even have that word in Hyrule? Yeah. Oh, nope. Dodge the bird. Hey, didn't you? Oh. I was eating dinner, you dick. That would almost be overpowered if they didn't last only like 15 seconds. Yeah. But like I mentioned, very last fusion, this little booger we met really early on. Yeah, and you have about a hundred kinstones you don't need now. <laughs> yep. Gotta go back and forth and back and forth to the Wind Ruins. You thought you were done with the Wind Ruins? Well, get this! No. Hey, we're back too! And just money. That was probably seashells then. But that is all the Kinstone Fusions, so heading on back to Tangle. We're gonna get the best prize ever. Gotta do confetti, damn it. Oh, 
Oh boy. Tingle Trophy. Yes! So much bigger and better than the Karlov medal. I know, right? Which I guess with all the work you have to do, you damn well better. Karlov's is just his dumb face. Tingle's got like he's posing on a podium. It's awesome. You still get the Kinstone pieces. I don't know if that means you can't pick up anymore. But that is the last of the Kinstone fusions. That is the last of the collectibles in the game. That is Minish Cap 100%ed. Oh no, another one of the damn beetles. <laughs> Love me! We are friends now. With that, at the very least, I will see you all in the DS Zeldas. I will finally be starting those LPs after this now. Sounds good. I'm going to retire to the, uh, to the hermit life again. I'll see you all in about 13 years. <laughs> we'll see if something comes along, and then we can drag you back out of it. Yeah, absolutely. But until then, that's all from me. All right, guys. See you later. It's been fun. Thank you all for watching.